Hello, my name is Bree, and this is my first YouTube video. Um, I've always wanted to make a YouTube video, I just never knew what it would be about mental health. Uh, so, here we go. <laughs> I first would like to talk about, you know, why I'm here, and the thing is, I uh, struggle. I, I've struggled in the past, but in the past year, it's been really bad, and I have been formally diagnosed with um, major depressive disorder, generalized anxiety, and PTSD. Um, the jury's still out on whether it's regular PTSD or complex, but that's where I'm at right now. And I've been on a year-long journey of therapy and different medications and trying to figure out what will work for me, and um, I'd like to talk about it. I think it could be helpful for me and hopefully someone else out there. But today, specifically, I want to talk about the new medication I'm on, which is called Pristique. And the generic is Diphenlafaxine, and I'm sure I butchered that, and I'm so sorry, <laughs> but hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Um, it is an SNRI, and I am on 25 milligrams. Um, symptoms I am trying to treat would include, first and foremost, depersonalization and derealization. Um, if you struggle with these things, I would absolutely love to hear from you. Um, those are my scariest symptoms, and they're really hard to talk about, and find. it's really hard to find others who, who deal with them. Um, but yeah, that as well as racing thoughts general physical anxiety, including racing heart, sweating, uh, nervousness, just tense all over, and depression. I'm trying to help alleviate feelings of hopelessness and just general doom and gloom and kind of reignite my passion for life. Um, I'm asking a lot from this pill, but, you know, I'm hoping. And yeah, I, I will be honest, um, I'm only on week three and a half-ish, I'm almost to week four, and I thought I was noticing some improvement, but this past week has been really hard, and today in particular has been probably the hardest day I've had in a really long time. I know I, you know, I kind of put myself together for this video, but it's been difficult. My depression has been really bad, but um, other than that, initial side effects I've had have been like drowsiness, um, which improved when I switched to taking it at night, which I strongly recommend talking to your pharmacist or your doctor about. Um, it's been really helpful with that. And some headaches here and there, though that could be the weather, and a little bit of nausea and um, the feelings of disconnect have been a bit more intense and then this past week the depression has has worsened so I know that sounds bad but I've actually tolerated this medication better than other medications and if you want another video t about me you know talking about the other medications I've tried and my experiences with them I am more than happy to do so just let me know um, so yeah, right now, how I'm feeling is not fantastic. I talked to my doctor today. It actually wasn't a very good experience, so I'm trying to get into a new psychiatrist. But she kind of recommended doubling my dose, but she wasn't really certain, which is part of why I'm trying to see a new psychiatrist. So if I end up doubling, I will update on that after a couple weeks, probably. And even if I don't, I'll probably come back and talk, just because I feel like I want to. Um, I see a lot of videos talking about medication after the fact, after it's helped a person. And I guess I feel like I could benefit from people talking about it during the journey, and during the struggle, and during the low points. Uh, so I hope to be that for somebody else. And, you know, I say 
it to myself as much as I'm saying it to you guys. Like, we are not alone. Um, so many people are struggling right now, and that doesn't that doesn't diminish what you're going through in any way. It just is meant to help you feel, you know, like you're not battling this alone. Um, I often feel like I will never get better. And I hope that I can look back on this video and look at this person that, you know, filmed it and say, you know, but you did and you fought and I'm so happy you did. And so I say to you, keep fighting and, you know, reach out, even comment on this, you know, comment on this video or don't, you know, talk to your family or, you know, reach out and talk to somebody else, but don't feel like you have to do this alone because if I've learned anything from my incessant Googling and, <laughs> and watching videos of mental health, it's that other, so many other people are struggling right now and it feels, it feels good to talk to somebody that gets it. Um, and lastly, I just want to kind of thank, uh, some YouTubers that have helped me make this video, like, encouraged me mentally to make this video, even though they don't know who I am. Um, the first being Raw Beauty Christy. She has been really open about her medication, and it helped me get back to that point where I wanted to take it. And, um, and it helped me today decide to make a video about it. And then Samantha Ravendahl is another big one. She talks about, you know, the struggle of mental health and and she has so many great videos. And um, yeah, there's, there's hope. As much as I feel hopeless right now and as much as you might feel hopeless right now, there is hope. And we just have to keep going. So I hope that you got something from this video. I know I didn't give much because I I don't feel better yet. Yet. I don't feel better yet. But I hope that you'll keep checking in with me or, you know, keep checking in on your friends. Or keep, you know, always keep checking in with yourself. And, um, yeah. Thanks. Thank you for listening. And that's it for now. But I'll check back in soon. Bye.